Welcome back to the Coach's Corner. Coach Gary Gaines is here on the set with us to talk about the Permian High School Panthers. Welcome back to the show, Coach. Thank you very much. It, it's good to have you back. It's good to be here. And especially coming off a big home win, homecoming, very exciting, big crowd. It was good. Any win is a good win, and, and we were certainly happy to uh, win that game with Tascosa. I thought we played a really, really fine first half, uh, did a lot of good things, and uh, had a lead, and I think when we came back out in the second half, we uh, came back out a little bit uh, fat-headed and, and uh, played a little sloppy, you know, and, and uh, we didn't finish very well, and that was uh, the only discouraging thing about it. Uh, you know, you got to finish the games, and, you know, luckily we, we had a, enough lead, and, uh, you know, we weren't playing one of the better teams that we'll have to play later on down the road, so I hope this is a good lesson for us that, that you got to finish games and you got to, regardless of the score, you got to continue to play hard. I was really proud of Eric Diaz. Our kicker came in and, and uh, converted all three of our extra points and kicked a, a field goal, uh, first field goal we've kicked this year. And uh, offensively, you know, DeAnthony had over 100 yards, Landry threw for 180 yards, and Jalen Loud came in at tight end and also at H back and, and uh, had four nice receptions. And, Defensively, we uh, were really solid early in the game, and Trey Fay came back this week after having a hand injury and uh, really was very productive at defensive end. Our two inside linebackers, Craig Weston and uh, Trey Spanger, had good games, and, and a little sophomore starting at, uh, at safety, uh, Clay Adams, I thought played really well as well. So. Uh, we, we've got work to do, and, and we're a work in progress, and I hope that we'll continue to uh, get better week in and week out. What was impressive was there, there were a few very ball-controlled drives that took some third down and long passes that had to be completed, and, and they were successful. They were, and Talon Smith, you know, caught a couple of those. Van Powell caught really a great reception down there on our end, on that north end of the field, and that was... Uh, one of those catches you don't see very often made. And, and uh, we've got a good core of receivers. And, and Landry really uh, hadn't thrown but one pick all year long. And so we're proud of him for that. And uh, Jesse Baez uh, uh, went out in the game, one of our starting tackles, and with a broken hand. And hopefully he'll be back this week. Uh, uh, you know, he'll have to play with a cast on his hand. but. Uh, as soon as the swelling goes down, I hope by Wednesday he'll be able to practice a little bit and, and get back into form. Boy, it's hard to hard to deal with some of those injuries and all of the things that go on, isn't it, Coach? It is, but that's why you have backups, and that's uh, everybody. You know, it, you never know when your time, your number's going to be called, and and uh, luckily we've got some depth in some spots that uh, we feel real comfortable with those guys being in there. And let, let's talk a little bit about the, the defense. It looked like the defense really had Amarillo Tascosa's number in the first half. We played really fast, and I thought we uh, really, uh, the things that we practiced uh, during the course of the week was what we saw. And, uh, you know, with enough repetition, you can kind of get people on station and, and get them headed in the right direction. And I thought we played fast, and I thought we played uh, intelligently. and. Uh, you know, in, in the second half, we, we kind of, you know, as I said earlier, we regressed, I think, in the second half uh, in all three phases of the game, actually. And uh, that's disappointing, but, you know, you have some of those. You know, when you're dealing with teenagers, you know, you have to combat that. And we've got to do a better job uh, as coaches to get them to understand what finish means. Well, very good. Let's, let's look ahead, and, and we're looking at going back on the road this mm -hmm. coming week. Going to Monterey Friday night at 7.30 up at uh, Lowry Field, and uh, we're anxious to get back into the, to the game mode and have a good week of practice this week. Monterey, surprisingly, hasn't won a game. Uh, Herford's beat them. Of course, Odessa High's beat them. And, and uh, you know, we've got some, they've got some very good football players. Uh, the little running back that they have, you know, broke a I guess their first play from scrimmage against Odessa High ran about 60 for a touchdown. And, uh, you know, I think that we've got the better team, you know, and, and that's why you play the game. You, you've got to prove it. Uh, we certainly need to have a good week of practice and, and uh, 
they do some unorthodox things. They try to, they run an offense similar to ours about 80% of the time. Then they go back to their old wishbone type things that they've run, uh, ran there with Coach Martin for so many years. And, you know, that's an offense unto itself and requires uh, some attention, you know. So uh, I think we'll be ready. I, I think our guys understand that uh, we can play a full, a full four quarter game and, and, uh, and play better than we played last week. Let's talk a little bit about how you handle this last game before an open week, which then goes right into the opening of the district schedule. This week won't be any different than the, the four prior weeks. Uh, we'll work the same basic schedule and uh, won't, won't vary it at any at all. The only change will be, you know, during the bye week when um, we'll have a little bit more time to uh, work on some fundamental things that maybe we have neglected or haven't made time for and uh, try to refocus a little bit in those areas. Uh, special teams, I think we still have some work uh, that we can get better uh, in terms of our special teams and primarily in, in terms of coverage, uh, punt and kick coverage, I think we can do better there. And um, But really, you know, probably uh, we'll be looking a little bit at middle and high, you know, who is our first district game at that point in time. So, uh, you know, have two or three days where we focus on them a little bit. But I, I just want us to keep getting better. And I think that's the good teams that that do well late in the year. I, I think, you know, you start practicing well and, and uh, you want to start peaking. You want to get better every week. And that, that's what our goal is. Well, very good. Is there anyone that stands out that had a great performance that uh, above their ability this past week? Well, it's a good question. I I was uh, Trey Fay. I don't know that that's above his ability, but he really did have an outstanding game. The uh, Anthony I thought had an outstanding game, but any time a running back has a great game, you've you've got to really. Uh, consider how those holes were there and that's because of the offensive line and and I think they take a lot of pride whether it's Greg George or, or DeAnthony or Landry throwing the football I think those guys take a lot of pride in in giving Landry time to throw and opening up holes for our running backs and and uh, they're unsung heroes they really are and I think uh, most offensive lines fall into that category but uh, they're the lifeblood of a football team. We've talked at length about how difficult their job is and to get all of them coordinated on the same page. How are we doing pro on that progress? I think we're doing quite well. I think we're on, on track and uh, not that we've got the market corner by any stretch, but I think that they've gotten better every week and that's what, uh, that's what is important. You know, we just don't want to get stale and, and have a, uh, and regress. And I think if you can continue at all, all spots, you know, if you can continue to get better each week, then uh, you're on track. Well, very good. Coach, is there anything else you'd like to add about Permian High School football? We just had a great crowd at the homecoming game. Got to see some of the 1980 guys that uh, played for Coach Wilkins, and uh, it was fun to see those guys and glad that they were back for their homecoming. That was fun. It was neat. That was fun. Coach, thanks for coming on the show, and congratulations on the victory, and good luck. Thank you.